Hey bookworms, welcome back to my channel and to another review. And today I will be talking about Disappearance at Devil's Rock by Paul Tremblay, who also wrote A Head Full of Ghosts, which I reviewed in the past. Both books share a theme of human horror. They both focus on an event so terrible and so horrific it almost seems supernatural, and we are left to wonder if there isn't a fantastical element in play. So in this novel, Tommy, a young teen, disappears without a trace. He went with his friends to a local park, then he went alone into the woods, and was never seen again. And we follow some characters, mostly Tommy's mother and sister, as they try to deal with the situation and help the police locate Tommy while things become stranger and stranger. Tommy's mom believes she saw Tommy's ghost in her bedroom. There are stories about a mysterious man who roams the neighborhoods and peeks through windows. And the place where Tommy disappeared from has a local urban legend that has to do with the devil. <sighs> so... We have a lot here, don't we? Disappearance, teenage secrets, urban legends, ghosts, or what seem to be ghosts. This book seemed to have it all. And it was so boring. I will say a few good things about this book soon, but oh boy, I could not get through this one. I did eventually finish it, obviously, but I just waited and waited for things to start moving. But it was monotonous, tiresome, with such repetitive dialogue that has no point other than to show that the author knows what teen talk about. Minecraft and zombies, apparently. Now, first thing you should know about this book is that it's no murder mystery, it's not a thriller, and we almost never see the procedure of the police force as they try to find Tommy. So if you want to read this book thinking it's a detective mystery, like I did, don't. This book mostly focuses on what happens to a family or people when something like this happens. They don't even know if Tommy is alive or dead. They don't know if some crazy sadist is holding him captive or if he decided himself to run away. And I felt like the not knowing was one of the most horrifying parts. And the big positive for this book is Trembley's vicious writing. Similarly to A Head Full of Ghosts, he just takes your heart and squeezes it until you can't breathe from sadness. And that's what this book is, the falling apart of a woman whose son just didn't come home one day and the psychological toll it takes on her. So when she sees Tommy's ghost in her bedroom, you're left wondering, is it grief, wishful thinking, or is Tommy really dead? and his ghost visited his mom. Now, to answer a question you must be asking, we do find out eventually what happened to Tommy by the end. The book does leave a little to the interpretation when it comes to some of the supernatural things, no spoilers, and I think it's one of those cases where people will just read into it what they already believe, whether, say, you believe in ghosts or the afterlife or not. And I won't say too much about the solution, you know, spoilers, but I did see some reviews saying that it wasn't impactful enough, but I think that this is actually the point of the book, to be the opposite of those fast-paced, exciting police procedurals. This personally did not bother me. I was mostly bothered by, you know, things not happening in the book. And I was just happy that at the end we actually got to know what happened to Tommy. And also that it meant that I finally finished this book. And honestly, that's it. I found this book doesn't come close to A Head Full of Ghosts, which, as mentioned, deals with similar subjects. It was very slow, somewhat on purpose, but also very very boring. I also felt like the supernatural bits weren't as cohesive in the story, they felt pushed in there, and I also felt like the solution to the mystery could have been more impactful if in addition to the mother's grief and despair, we could also have followed the police more. So to conclude, I didn't enjoy this book. It is powerful at showing the emotional toll of a missing person on their closed ones, but I didn't need an entire book length of it. Now, if this is exactly what you're looking for in a book, go for it. But if not, there are better books to read, and I will put some of them that I think you might like in the description box. 
And that's it for my review, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, help my channel by leaving a comment. Like, uh, have you ever read anything by Paul Tremblay? And um, if you have any recommendations for any other books by him. So, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.